let's do this thing where I do the thing. Um, I'm going to just start my recording for YouTube. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's let's wander around in the wasteland. Uh, it's been a little while. I, I had to kind of like go back and, and think about s stuff, <laughs> figure out where I was, what I was doing in this uh, this weird and weird and wonderful wiener wasteland. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try and find, uh, I think I have Redding on the map. So I'm gonna go to Reading and uh, and go go dick around there, see what I can find. Let's see, do I have Reading or am I just lying to myself? No, I'm totally just lying to myself. I wonder why. I've definitely heard about it before. Uh, I was in New Reno, and then for some reason I came back to uh, to town. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to New Reno and see what's happening. I wish to encounter a gang. Yeah, why not? So I've been thinking, uh, and this is uh, kind of only peripherally Fallout related. You remember I was saying a few episodes back how uh, I really don't like get m like MOBAs at all. Um, you know, I I feel like I want to try playing. Uh, again, you know, I gave. Was she have a laser rifle? Holy shit! Big gun thug. Yeah, let's take her out. Um, I, I've been thinking about trying heroes, uh, both because the stuff that um, the other streamers have been doing uh, looks like so much fun, and also because I don't know, maybe I'm just not giving it a chance. So I, I've been thinking about that. Uh, maybe that's a thing I could do. Um, I, I'm gonna intersperse over this week this and then some other miscellaneous games that I want to play uh, just to kind of hang out. Um, so, you know, and I'll stream all that obviously and, and you guys can uh, can come by and check it out and you can tell me how I'm being terrible at them. Um, you'll learn if you stick it out uh, that I'm pretty bad at a lot of games but uh, I have interesting ideas about most of them so hopefully that'll be enough for you. Um, I, uh, yeah, I've got, and I've got a key to the beta anyway, so I might as well use it, right? Like, it's just sort of moldering away. I played a few matches, but, um, yeah, I'll try it out. And, and, I mean, hopefully I could get some, uh, I've been talking to some other streamers, see if anybody wants to play with me so that I can kind of, uh, go through that. Um, actually, Caitlin and I have been talking about, uh, doing some, um, playing some StarCraft together, which she thinks would be really funny and I think would be super embarrassing, given that I am basically a zero and she's uh, not that. <laughs> um, all full capacity. I want this flamethrower. Um, so I think that might be a funny stream that we might do in the in the future. Um, watch me be terrible at... Uh, watch me be terrible at, uh, at StarCraft. Um... You know, honestly, like I have, I've lots of games I'd like to play. Um, obviously, Papers Please is the next big one, uh, which I will definitely do. Um, but you know, I've been I've been thinking about kind of how to fill up the extra time. I'd like to do more regular playthroughs of stuff, and you know, not not necessarily engage a game completely, uh, start to finish, in the way that I am with Fallout. But you know, play more games casually. So yeah, you can watch me be really, really, really terrible at StarCraft maybe someday soon. Um, <laughs> But we'll, uh, I'll announce all that stuff as I go. It's all kind of in the theoretical stages now. So I'm playing a really fun mini game right now. Uh, if you had not noticed yet, uh, I'm playing the let's get tedious and do inventory management mini game. Um, I'm not really sure. <sighs> yeah, I'm not really sure, like how much of this crap I want to carry around. The game has made, uh, it's, it's, it's made it frustrating because I don't actually want to carry this stuff. I'd rather reduce it to, uh, less weighty, um, inventory. Like I need to convert my gold into gems, but if you've noticed, the game is not good at providing me, um, the opportunity to do that. A lot of the merchants don't have money, um, which is really annoying. 223 pistol. Oh, it's like a, Sawed off yeah. rifle thing. Cool. Here, take this flamethrower. It weighs 18 pounds. So, yeah, basically, I'm just 
farming out. It's it feels like Skyrim, right? It's like uh, you know they're they're sworn to carry my burdens, my my mule NPCs, which you know okay sure, uh, that's fine, but uh, it's just tedious, right? It's tedious having to go around back and forth every time. Um, you know, and continue to, to do all that stuff. Okay, let me see if I have any other quests here, because I know I have a bunch of stuff in the NCR, but I'm not really ready to go there yet. Um, and I just want to make sure there isn't any kind of, like, quest activity that I can undertake here with the other, uh, the other sort of crime families. Um, I didn't really talk too much to them last time. I was kind of just, like, ripping through it. Going to this casino. Let's see if I can find who's the boss around here. Put my gun away. <sighs> I really need to start a list. Oh, this is bishops. I've been here. I need to start a list of all the people who are pissing me off in this game, so that later when I'm awesome, I, mean, I talked about this. I'm gonna come back and kill them all. Those two racist dicks are on my list. Okay, let's see here. Um, so I don't know if y'all noticed on the um, the thread uh, about West Marches. Um, and this is the meta thread that Stephen posted today. If you're a fan of the West Marches, if you're not, I mean, whatever, d disregard everything that I have to say. But. Um, yeah, if you're a fan of the West Marches, go check out that thread. Steven's looking for feedback on his uh, his GMing and on West Marches in general. Um, and I posted uh, I posted something uh, in that thread talking about um, how D and D is sort of fighting that game. And uh, we've been talking about uh, Steven and I sitting down and doing a little bit of um, like game jam, like kind of hacking the game and talking about how it works and. And all that stuff. So, what I think we're gonna do is like do that live on my channel. Uh, we'll probably just sit down with a Google Doc and, and lay out like how can we change D and D to fit West Marches, um, which I'm really excited about. So that's some some new content that we're gonna we're gonna try and do soon. All right. So this guy talking about boxing. You know what? I uh, I wanna uh, I wanna try and do this. I wanna try and I wanna try and do the boxing mini game. So let's see, you're gonna need a name, a handle, something sounds tough, like Grigory the Hurricane, Grigory the Brawler. So my options are Jabby, Jabby, no. Spinning Jenny, Piston, Hurricane, Big Bad Mother, Chosen One, Raging Bull, yeah, reference, Glass Joe, another reference, good. Lamada, probably a reference too. Sledge, where's the Doctor? New Reno Nancy, Bald Bull. Do you wanna, do you wanna throw in like everyone who's in Punch-Out in here? They probably should. Uh, Macho Macho Man's pretty good. Uh, Iron Maiden, Ripper, Valkyrie. Oh my God, there's so many. Helen Wheels, Bad Girl, Black Widow, Lightning, Jocko, Scrap Iron, Tigress, <laughs> Clubber Lang, Drago, Lady G. There's so many of them. Ninety-six percent of the development time for this game went into making names. Where's, where, I'm gonna be Duchess. Duchess, Duchess, not bad, eh? I'm making an Archer reference s s a decade and a bit early, but yeah, that's fine. All right, all righty, all righty, here we go. Uh, Probably should have taken some drugs before I did this. Yeah, I saw I saw Doctor Fist on the list, but I mean, it's appropriate. But I, I Duchess is just so cute. <laughs> 
All right, come on, round one. <laughs> Everyone's really upset that I missed Dr. Fist. It's okay. It's okay, everybody. I can be Dr. Fist in your heart. I'm Dr. Fist in your heart. Okay. All right, big guy. Let's do this thing. Wow, this is the most awkward, like, boxing simulator. Do I still have my inventory? No, of course not. Why would I? That's dumb. Bam! Yeah! These sound effects, it's exactly like... The sound effects are exactly the same as uh, hitting a scorpion with a spear. The animation's pretty similar, too. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm hitting you. I'm hitting you in your face. With my fists. Oh, and a left jab. Apparently the only thing my character knows how to do is, like, right hooks. I'm just, like, right hooking him over and over. Here, would you like a right hook? How, how about an uppercut? No, I don't uppercut. I don't... All I do... Mm, yeah, just repeated right hook to the chest. Over and over. Like, just... Not moving. This would be the worst boxing match to watch in the history of boxing matches. Just, just slugging him right in the torso. Come on, Duchess. Yeah, get him. Get him with your fists. No. No. Okay. Yeah, I suppose if I was like a better fighter, I'd have more options than punch. I wonder if I can punch him in the, punch him in the head. And then miss. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> this is amazing. So, it's like watching a uh, really badly GM'd first edition D&D. You, you swing at him. You do not hit him. He swings at you. He does not hit you. You hit him. Okay, he takes one damage. And then this repeats uh, for 52 hit points. Yes! Wait, what happened? Is this round two? Oh yeah, people are cheering for me. Woo, Duchess, yeah! Duchess, Duchess. Float like a butterfly, sting like a rad scorpion. Here we go. Let's do it for Liam Neeson, everybody. Oh, God. Nobody. Just don't watch. It's embarrassing. Yeah, there's one. There's one for you. Another one for your face. This is terrible. I keep getting head-butted. Hot boxing action. Tonight on Twitch TV. God, why don't... They should just make this into a mini-game. Did I... Te did I at least technically knock him out? What happened here? And the winner is... By means of knock, I, nobody got knocked out. Yeah. Also, I don't think that my suit is boxing regulation, but whatever. Yay! Damn fine performance. Feeling all right? Let me know when you're ready for the next match. Let me rest a little, then I'll get ready. Yeah, 500 experience. Awesome. Uh, okay. Dare, dare I do this shit again? I mean, that was pretty rough. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna do some drugs this time, though. Oh no, I'm addicted. Let's do it. Let's just get wrecked. Alright, so I, um... I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for round two. Drug addict boxing. Look out for Mr. Sicarian. Everybody place your bets now. Who's who's gonna win this awesome fight with me punching him one at a time slowly forever? Okay. Okay everybody, let's let's see yeah, totally like <laughs> Cross Davis, it's a good point. So it's it's the it's been made uh clear that this is like the plot of an after school special, like, oh, the pressure to win was too high, so he took drugs and got addicted to jet. 
And now he really wants to win at fighting, I guess, so I can get money to do more jet. It's like a, it's a very special episode of Degrassi Junior High. The story of Duchess. I thought I thought Cassidy was gonna shoot that guy for a second. That'd be a really funny bug in the game, actually, if your friends just took shots at the dude. Alrighty. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm hitting him. I, I'm hitting him more often than I was hitting him before the drugs. So, this just goes to prove... Drugs work, everybody. Drugs work. If you want to win, don't listen to 80s arcade games. Winners do use drugs. Drugs make you faster and stronger and more attractive. And everyone will like you because you'll be a winner. None of that is true. Don't do drugs, kids. You're gonna feel a sting. That's just pride fucking with you. <sighs> the game is really encouraging me to have a great time with this. This is um, super fun. It's like in Metroid when they take away... And actually... Now we have a topic. So, this is like, uh, uh, I don't know if there's a name for this, but this feels a lot like that thing in games where uh, the beginning of the game builds you up as a badass and then they take away all your special abilities or all your gear. Uh, Metroid uh, has, has done this on more than one occasion. Castlevania, um, where it's like, okay, you're a super cool badass, we're gonna teach you how to use all these abilities, then you have to regain them one at a time. This, this is not the same as that, but you can notice, like, this is exactly the same bullshit tedium that we were talking about in the very first episode. It's like, just click, click turn, click ahead, click turn, move forward. It doesn't really do anything to, like, add to the game. Um, Pete McNeely. Um, and I wonder sometimes about, like, why game designers do that. Yeah, abilities. Because it's like... I mean, I guess it's like, it wants to show you, like, this is how you're going to be, right? But there are games that do that much better than just giving you a bunch of stuff uh, and then taking it away, you know? Like, Mega Man X does it by showing you Zero at the end of the first level, and Zero's like this fucking awesome badass, and you're like, I could be this guy. Um, but I just don't understand the appeal. Like, can you imagine playing Dungeons & Dragons and being like, okay, everybody, make yourselves a level 10 character... Nah, he just crippled his own arm. What an idiot. Make yourself a level 10 character, and then in the second session, being like, no, you know what, just uh, roll it back. We're going to make first level characters, make the same character, and then you're going to work your way up again. Uh, it just it, it feels like a weird conceit. Um, and I, I can't think of a game where I've ever really enjoyed that. Like, at best, the early stuff feels kind of unnecessary. Um, I don't know. I can't imagine... I don't know. Maybe I'm just not... Maybe I'm just not thinking about it uh, in, in the right design space. But, like, what... I mean, the developers of this game, when they, when they made this, like, boxing subsection, I kind of wonder, like, what... What's the purpose of, of the gameplay, like, being like this? Like, I mean, I get that there probably wasn't enough resource to do, like, an actual, like, mini boxing game within the game. You know, like, you can replicate Punch-Out. So they gotta stick with what they have available to them. But, like, making me do this is really discouraging the sort of continuance of fighting all this stuff. Um... Like, it's... It's, it's slow and kind of ineffective and... I don't know, I kind of wonder about... Like, I get I get where it fits narratively, right? Because it's Reno and boxing, and it's, like, it's a good fit uh, that way. But it's also kind of, like, incongruous with the rest of the game's experience. I mean, I get I get that the game is, like... Oh, also, great, I just... I'm, now I'm... Last round, I, my drugs ran out. I'm probably just gonna get my ass kicked. Hopefully my performance in the first couple rounds was enough to make up for it. Yeah, I mean, it'd be less it'd be less tedious if I had a higher unarmed skill. And obviously it's meant to appeal. Like, the guy did warn me. He said, I don't think you have the frame for it. 
but um, yeah, you know, you might that that might be the case, right? It might just be like this is this is how it works. Like you don't have to do it, but um, if you do, if you're playing the right kind of character, this is content for that kind of character. Which makes sense. So I'm just gonna like crit me and break my neck. I'm still doing damage. Yeah, I mean it's it's interesting like that, and and that's a, I mean maybe that that leads me to another kind of interesting point like, how do you um, how do you tell a player in a game like this what content is is valid for them and what isn't right, like, at what point should you be um, you know, should you be engaging with that content in a certain way? Okay, cool. I'm gonna... Let me rest a little here, and I, I think actually I might just be done. For now. Unless I can cheat. <laughs> My total weight's 66 out of 10. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's, there's segments of, of games that do that kind of thing. Um, and I, I kind of wonder about where it fits. Um, you can do some really cool stuff, I think, with, uh, like, flashbacks and, um, you know, like, say, say you're, you're playing a game where, yeah, let's, I'm gonna rest. Um, so you're playing a game where, yeah, you, you need to flash back to an earlier part of the game, uh, then it's valid. Like, I, I think that it's okay to take away your stuff for the sake of narrative. A lot of sequels, uh, I think do that too, where it's like, you're playing the same character from the last one, but we're gonna take away all your stuff and try to, you know, make you start over because you can't start with all of the equipment from the first game. Uh, it's a bit like, um, uh, yeah, I'm addicted to Jedi. I know. How much do these weigh? Five pounds. Okay, I'll give them to someone else. Um, you know, it's a bit like a sitcom, right? Where it's like, okay, we got to reset back to uh, the the like original um, the original setup before we move on uh, to the to the next episode. You know, the the Simpsons can't end in an episode where Homer is like, I don't know, in prison or something, because that would indicate you'd have to watch the next episode to follow. Um, this is where you get the like special two parters and stuff of things, but like, I, I don't know. For for games, it can be. Uh, it can be tough, right? It can be it can be hard to um, to have to sit through that stuff. All right, so this boxing thing, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back to it later with a higher skill level. I often think about how to um, how to bend that kind of stuff in tabletop RPGs where like if I'm GMing a game and I want to be able to go outside of the like it's today and you're gonna do today stuff then we're gonna jump to tomorrow you're gonna do tomorrow stuff and and time will pass in a linear fashion um, you know, we talked about this a little bit in the time travel bit um, but uh, you know, I feel like there's there's room to do some other kind of narrative jumping around. Um, again, it really depends on the game. Uh, games that follow linear character progression make this difficult, right? Like if you're trying to keep track of uh, how your character gets better over time, you can really only do it and not open that door. Oops, Jesus! Why did this guy attack me for opening the door? Well, that's lame. Fine. Let's. You know what? I did all that boxing. God damn it! And I can't talk my way back out of this. Fuck. Okay. Forget it. Fine. Fine. Fuck the boxing. Fuck all that subquest. Fuck being addicted to jet. Never mind. It's over. We're, we're gonna abandon that whole subplot. Thank you so much, game, for that. Um. Yeah. Maybe I missed the warning. Um. Yeah, fuck New Reno. Fuck it right in the ear. Let's go to the NCR. <laughs> I 
I don't even care. Burn it down. This is the alternate timeline where I didn't do any of that stuff. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's check out NCR. We got some uh, cool-looking combat armor dudes. I should probably walk around with my gun away here. All right. Look, we'll just get out. Why? I'm really confused about why these guys are giving me shit. Okay, that gun dude doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> What's happened? Good rule, don't say nothing about nobody. Alright, man. Did you notice that? You see that? Let's see if I can get him to do it again. Okay, what can you tell me about this town? This guy says, no, he doesn't want to talk to me about the town. I say, sorry for troubling. Christ. Is there context there? Like, have we have we seen, like, <laughs> have we seen Jesus talked about before? Like, it was that church, right? But they, I don't think they, they mentioned, I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering it, but I wonder about that. I wonder about my, like, character, uh, why I would use Christ as, a, as like, an expletive there. Um, and if I know the context of it as a character, or whether, like, Jesus as a thing has kind of, like, evaporated um, from the, the, the global consciousness, or the, the tribal one, at least. Alright, so the game is trying to do a thing to me here. Um, so it's saying, uh, remember that time you were in New Reno and somebody stole your car? Now, here's an NPC who's going to offer to watch it for you. Mind transport, man. Watch your car, keep it safe from bed bugs. Five bucks, no problem. Five bucks, he's on the job. Never sleep, 24 hour, always there, man. This is the NCR. High, mighty, righteous, absolutely, and always correct, New California Republic. They're the ones who lead people like us out of the wasteland in the new and perfect future. Can you dig it? Yeah. No. So, either the game is going to punish me for ignoring, and I, I don't remember, for ignoring its warning, right? Because it's like, it hit me with the stick before, and now it's trying to, like, trick me into giving up my money, so I, because I'm afraid of the stick now, it's been hitting me with it, uh, or I'm, uh, I'm going to ignore it and be smart for ignoring the game, um, but this is, I, I feel like that guy, that NPC is definitely connected to the idea of you losing your vehicle before. All right, so so far in NCR, I know there's like a garage, a car hole. Um, there's a gun store with a guy who won't talk to me. Uh, there's an iguana bit stand, and there's some dudes in combat armor. Uh, and just because I'm feeling saucy, and because it wouldn't be a trip through the weenie wasteland without a little bit of the old stealth and steel. Let's see what this guy's got. Oh good, a knife and some stim packs. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> um Yeah, also I wonder if that guy's Can You Dig It uh is a reference to the Warriors. I hope so, because the Warriors is awesome. Alright, so NCR, so far we know a little bit about what other people have said. It's like a highly politicized body. Uh, they are a government. Um, they look like this is either a prison or some slaves. Um, looks like the Vortis Holding Center. Let's, let's go see what this is about. Okay, this is a guard. I like that. That's a good description of the guard. Big guy, gun, standing around, guard. A classic role-playing game trope. So these guys all have leather jackets. It doesn't. I'm not seeing any like NCR like uniforms. Let's see what he's got to say. What do you want? I got some questions. What can you tell me about this town? Temperance types and merchants got a bug about slavers and slavery. But what the hell? It makes my business. They've got a bug. Like they've got a bug up their ass. Like they don't like them. Or fuck you, boys. 
Why does everyone in NCR hate me? What did I do? No. Uh, I wonder... Yeah, everyone's being really mean to me. I have my gun away. Let's see if I can put it, get everybody else to put their gun away. Yeah, no, that's fine. This this is super tedious, by the way. Um, they should put their guns away when you do. What you be? You got sounds good. You guys become completely obnoxious to me. Yeah, like, are they giving me shit because I'm a tribal? Oh, hold on, I'm gonna save because I do not want to run into that. You opened a door, and now you're killed thing. So I'm not getting a lot of feedback. I'm starting to annoy you. Why? Looking for work. You ever hear the rangers? So now he wants to give me a job, so that's interesting. He wants a map. I don't want a map. Okay, so now I've got at least I've got a quest to look for one. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, these guys are on the list. All right, so he hates me too. Okay, so let's go. All right, I'm gonna go see if Gun Dude will talk to me, if the gun dealer, because I'd like to try to unload some of this equipment that I have. Uh, and having the merchants in town be pissed at me really sucks. Hmm. Okay. So that's what it was. It was that I had my guns out. My guns out. All right. Welcome to Buster's Fine Emporium of Armament. I'm Buster, and there ain't nobody else. Fine goods. I'm ready to deal. I got some questions. Okay, he just wants to deal. Alright. What do you got, buddy? Big ass pistol, bunch of ammo, energy cells, that's cool. Um, caseless, light support weapon. Oh, yeah, he's got the big shit. Oh, yeah. That's sexy. Alright, so mostly ammo, which I don't really need. But let's let's get some of that. Let's see what let's see what I can amount. Uh, it's gonna be tough because I, I have to I can't trade out of my friends' inventories, so I'm gonna have to try to pick up as much as I can, gun wise. I really want to get that Pancor jackhammer, um, but let's let's back out here. Nope, well, that was me clicking the wrong thing. Anything else? No, but I will trade with my friends to get more guns. Come here. Yeah, I feel like the UI in this game could really use some serious work. Uh, I don't know which gun he's equipped with right now. Uh, let's go back to that. Okay, so hunting rifles. I'll take his assault rifle. These things I don't need. This note from Francis. Let's clear out my stupid inventory. And here, take that. Yeah, there we go. Miscellaneous garbage. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to play a role playing game that has like a really awesome, like solidly thought out. Uh, user experience by way of the interface. Did his trade stuff all just change? Yeah, it totally did. What the hell? Rifle scope? Yeah, sure. I see. Cool. Does it put it in my inventory or? Whatever. Yeah, this is very. It's very confusing not knowing exactly what's going on uh, in terms of like, like that. Like it didn't go to my inventory. It just kind of disappeared. Like like they took the money from me, 
or like this guy's inventory changing or like all that stuff it seems it seems super weird um, So that'll help me. Yeah, so that's that's if I click the let's see. What's he got? Does he have a different thing? Is this one of those bugged NPCs? No, it looks like he's got all that stuff. Okay. Alright. Well, that's fine. So I'm going to uh I'm back out here and uh trade around some stuff and I guess he doesn't have the jackhammer anymore for some reason, so whatever. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and redistribute this shit, and then I'll continue looking around the NCR. Oh, I see, and they, they don't have their weapons out, so they're not equipped. So that's why that was in the inventory. I wonder if it'll show me his um, scoped uh, rifle. Hmm, okay. Yeah, let's take a look. Hmm. Just hunting rifle. Put it away. Did that guy charge me for the thing when I asked about it? Maybe he didn't. Nah, no, he didn't. Okay, cool. So now I should have the scoped rifle. Yeah, there we go, the loophole scope. Okay, cool, I'm gonna go give this back to Cassidy. Excellent. Much better. Take it. Alrighty. Okay, so, I mean, I've... I've Oh, you can steal from the shelves. Interesting. Let's give it a try. I always assumed you could only steal from people. Oh, there we go. Forget you, 13,000 credits. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that makes me feel good. Cool. All right, well, this guy's got a lot more excellent shit for me. All right, well, whatever. This is super dull um, and uh, really doesn't need to be a thing that I spend a bunch of time on. So let me just get this crap back, trade one more time, and then we'll move on so you don't have to watch me diddle with this stupid shit. Um, But I am definitely going to come back and steal that goddamn minigun, which he now has in his inventory again. These two, these two shotguns? Would you like... Would you like a shotgun? Here, it's two 1600. Well, I'll take all that. And then... The lights it's heavy. It's actually not heavy, it's light. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what I need for ammo. Um, I don't think any of this stuff, so... Let's take half of this. Or I'll just take enough that it helps bring this down. 18, yeah, one more should do it. Okay, all right, well, trade time is over, so that's fun. And by 
by fun, I mean incredibly tedious. But hey, <laughs> whatever. Inventory management, the game. Um, I'll come back here uh, a little later when I... Uh, God, I need to upgrade this SMG. Like, it doesn't do a ton of damage. And I like the burst mode and stuff, but... Yeah, I definitely... I definitely need to, to work on that. Um, you know, weapon... Weapon-wise. Um, and I mean, I'm working up to the energy stuff, so that, that should help. Uh, let's go... Uh, Let's go wander around uh, this outside NCR thing for a little bit. Oh, there we go. Here's some quests waiting to happen. For entering the city, familiar yourself with the rule. No weapons. Can't get drunk. Slavery, gambling, and prostitution not permitted. Okay, that sounds good. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Sure. Yeah, all that sounds good. Um... This is like the most kind of traditionally like modern normal society uh, that I think we've seen in the game. Like it follows all of the kind of archetypal like this is what North American modern like cities are like. Like you can't get drunk in public and you can't uh, enslave people. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Um, that's uh, no weapons, no drinks, no trouble. Is anybody using their weapon right now? Or maybe this person doesn't have anything to say to me. Alright. Cool. Okay, let's go check out the saloon. So still, people are being a little bit, like, not very nice. Generally, kind of shitty to me. I would like some information. Sure, I'll buy a drink. Time for some questions. We're at Vault 13. Salt Beef Bob at Weston's Ranch. So, Weston is that guy that I'm supposed to kill um, for uh, what's his name? For Mr. Bishop, whose wife I had sex with. Alright, so Weston's Ranch. Uh, Salt Beef Bob has tre some about treasure. Alright. Looking for the Gek. Nah, this person doesn't know anything. Well, thanks! The protagonist will remember that. Okay. So, nothing really exciting outside the town. Um, which I, I think we're outside. Like, I can't, I can't really tell. I'm gonna try and find where I can zone zone in, or zone out, or tune in. Trying to find my way into, like, the bigger part of the town. Gun shop? Okay. What direction should I be going in? Ah, there's some walls. Okay, there we go. Cool. You see a computer. All right, so here we go. I oh, we get a new model. We get these police guys. Um, that's cool. So NCR police. You can see an American flag. So that's kind of neat. It's like a, a new example of. I don't think I've seen that before uh, anywhere. So. Again, like, they have California in the name, they have American flags, these guys probably have some kind of, I don't know, some kind of, like, stuff, uh, uh, some, some historical record. They didn't come out of the vault, so they've been around a while, um, so they, they know some stuff. Let's see if I can find the sheriff. If anybody's gonna have work for me. <laughs> Deputy Carl. This is NCR, capital of the New California Republic. So the town is called NCR, and the New California... They'd be like naming a town USA. Welcome to USA. Actually, I bet you there is a town somewhere called USA. Slavery, no gambling, no chems. President is Mrs. Tandy, my boss is Sheriff Dumont. Got some other questions. I'm in need of some honest work. Stockman's Association looking for guard. 
President Tandy's looking for someone resourceful. Okay, cool. So, um... The requests... The requests in these town. Let's uh, wander around and see what we can find. A couple of guys guarding a random house. Not a rancher, you're looking here at work. Who's Dupo? You don't look like a Brahmin puncher. How are you with a gun? Good enough. There you go, sort of Brahmin. Oh, Brahmin drive up to Redding, and I was trying to get to Redding anyway. Yes, that sounds awesome. Okay, cool. So this this is gonna take me away from NCR. Um, now, how? Maybe yeah, I should have like looked at this. Work. Be at the gate to Weston's place tomorrow. Okay. Now I gotta find out where Weston's is. So I'm feeling a lot of the same vibes now that I kind of felt uh, with um, when we went to Vault City. Uh, in that the game is just kind of like letting me wander around. Um, I came here with a couple of quests, but you know, the, I think the expectation is that I'm going to find the quests myself. Um, just by walking from place to place and talking to people. Which is exactly what I'm doing. So this is a mechanic shop that's permanently closed. Members of a group trying to do for folks. Right in what way? What's your opinion of slavers? I see what's happening here. I hate them. They're scum. So these, she's part of the rangers. I qualify for ranger membership. Hells yes. Spreading the word and hitting slavers wherever we can. Oh yeah, I'm I'm all over that shit. The slaver just outside of town. Free the slaves and come back and talk to us. Okay, that's kind of cool. Get some like legitimacy. Um, it is interesting too that this is the first uh, like group of NPCs that I've seen that I could like join up with. Um, in in a way so like I've been kind of a free a free agent so far but this is an opportunity to become like a bigger part of the world oh hi random quest so he's got to do something I need help quick it's Jack he's starting to blow up the power plant need to stop him stop wasting time let's let's go see what's up uh, okay a wow okay <laughs> so the the game just throws me into the idea that I'm like, okay, now we have to talk about uh, this quest. You, you don't have a choice. Nothing, you know, no no option. It's just like random NPC is going to grab you off the street and force you into doing this. Um, which, okay, cool, urgency. I, I'm, in, I'm into that, but a little bit weird. What if I wasn't ready? What if I was, like, injured or, uh, or whatever? Um, okay, let's try to talk him through this because that's, that's a thing that I do. What would you know about this? I know sometimes things look bad. Blowing things up doesn't solve anything. Wow, that was really stupid. <laughs> that whole that whole thing was just like like nothing. Let's see if Vic can fix it. I can't repair that. Gotta repair this. <laughs> the guy just exploded. <laughs> what a what a pointless pointless quest. It wasn't even a quest, it was just like, talk to this guy, and then he'll blow himself up. You fix it with any parts? Yeah. I'm really handy. AKA. I made an NPC do it. Thanks for these tech books. Which I will sit down and read right now. Oh, I gotta be careful about the time. Weston. Yeah, I, I guess I could have talked him down, but he decided to explode instead. <laughs> okay, good old Dr. Grigori. Oh, 
Let's see if we can find out where that ranch is. I'm gonna pick a direction, and I'm gonna assume because his name is Weston, that's the way I need to go. What's up with the freaking lasers? Oh, I need to see him. Uh, okay, so I guess I can wait here until the morning and then I can do my quest. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Is this where I get work? Where's the ranch thing? <laughs> I'm outside Weston's ranch. It's the morning. Let's go talk to this guy again. Tomorrow? But today is t tomorrow. I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, let's uh, wait another day. I don't know, I'm gonna read the rest of these books. You learn new science information. I wonder how long it takes for me to read the whole book. Oh, there you go, five hours. All right. Let's try this shit again. Quest time? Cattle dive season's over. That's fantastic. So I, it it says just be there, and then that's a really bad situation. Like it says just be outside his ranch tomorrow, and then I, I don't know. Did I did I fuck that up? Like was that a me making a mistake, or was that the game not being very clear about how to get that quest? Um, because I feel like, yeah, I feel like I got a little screwed on that one. I'm feeling, feeling a little salty about that one, Fallout. Oh well, whatever. <sighs> yeah, this session has been weird. A lot of like, you're kind of screwed. Uh, or like, if you don't pay like very intricate attention to a very specific thing, you're screwed. Uh, so, okay, I guess that's the thing I need to learn. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll work on that ranger's quest. I'm going to try and, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and free these slaves. But first, I'm going to save my game, because that's a prudent thing to do. And uh, we're going to take a really quick break so I can go grab some water and recover from my temporary saltiness.